Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to create a JSON field. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a float field, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial. And currently we are working on this sub playlist, which is Odoo 17 field development tutorial. And guys, this is the main development tutorial. Let's say if you are starting your development series for the Odoo 17 first you can start with this main playlist those are the sub playlist let's say if you want to learn topic wise then you can refer this one or else it will cover all the topics in this main playlist and let's say if you want to learn Odoo the older versions you can visit this Odoo development and once you click here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot all right so let's back to our main topic like how to create a json field in odoo 17 so odoo already launched json field from the odoo version 16 all right so what is the syntax and how we can create right let's see so let's say school data fields dot json right now here the fields you must have to import from the Odoo. So here you can see from Odoo import and fields. All right. And after that, you can use here fields dot and JSON. So in the JSON, J would be always capital. And before that, this is the field name equal to. So this field name, you can add any name. Okay. Now this field, I will add here in the form view now i will going to the student profile now one more thing is uh, before that we must have to upgrade the module go to here minus u and student guys if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained how to configure odoo in pycharm so let me stop and start and odoo automatically restart the service all right and here you can see school data is available let me refresh the screen see now the thing is you cannot edit directly here okay so for that i have to also create one field to store the json data def json data store self dot equal to name self dot name id self dot id fees self dot student fees right uh, gender so for the gender i'm using here g key self dot gender right yeah that's it and here oh sorry so again I have to go to here and add here that button. Again, I'm going to upgrade the module, going to the front end side and refresh the screen. Now, let's say once I click here right in the terminal wb student right you can see school data the very the data type right type you can see json now you can see here select star from wb student i think it's good i will use here name and school underscore data you can see here the json data automatically store now here the main point is you cannot add without json data in this field okay in terms of let's say if i'm trying to forcefully store here non json data 
then Odoo automatic, automatically throws the exception. Not the Odoo, but Postgres also, because in the Postgres side, it stores as a JSON data. And if you are not using the JSON data properly, then Odoo, autom not Odoo, but the Postgres automatically throws the exception. Let's check that part later. But right now, you can see right now we have this kind of data, right? Let's say as a traditional way, I want to search the result from here, right? Select ID from WB student where school data, right? I'm using I like operator like fees. If I will press enter, now you can see Odoo uh, Postgres automatically throws the exception because so this line automatically says everything. Operator does not exist for this JSON and B. This is the data type. Right. So now the question is how you will extract the result. Right. So here it's a simple. You can do one, like this way. Let's say I want to use the name right from from this result so what i'm doing is i will use here like school underscore data like this and i will remove this where condition for the temporary purpose you can see here as a student name right and you can see total six rows is there so rows means you can see total six record is here so one by one i will click and now you can see dd dd1 dd d1 so whatsoever the name is there it will automatically display here and now you can see it's having uh, all the values right now let's say if you want to extract the only id right so here in this case it will be written as a blank because that blank id is not found so we have to use in the string format like this okay now here you don't need to represent this field in the front end side it is meaningless because it's not editable at all okay so while you are trying to like store the response of the json file right while you integrate the, with the third party applications or let's say for the reporting purpose you are trying to stay, store the json data and future you will extract from the particular row then it would be also useful okay so due to that this json field is introduced and trust me this is very interesting and very useful i hope you understood this json field so here let's say string you can use here required you can use here invisible you can use here default also you can use here but i'm not going to in the deep at the moment because it is meaningless except the default attribute why because in the front end side you cannot see anything you see here once i refresh the screen school data having a data but you cannot see here right okay so i hope you understood about the json field if you have any query related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to create a relational field many to one see you there